Hi Leo, how's it going? And welcome to your mid-September general reading. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you're interested in a Leo, welcome all. I am so grateful and glad that you're here. Leo, if you'd like to join us for your love reading, that's where we connect with the other person you're dealing with in love, romance, or in relationships. Your love reading is always the first link in the description box below. Also, Leo, don't forget to stick around until the end of the reading where I pick one of your names at random for the pick a card, okay? It could be you this time. I don't know. We'll have to wait to the end to see who wins the pick a card drawing this time. All right, my loves. Leo, how are y'all doing? Again, this is your mid-September general reading. We'll be doing a nine card spread today. That's past, present, and future energy. All right, last one. Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Leo? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Again, mid-September, we are in Virgo season. All right, my loves, we have the Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign here, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. High Priestess, Four of Wands. You're missing something. You're missing someone, probably, with the cups. It's usually about a person, a relationship. Um, could be anyone, family, a friend, uh, an ex, whatever that means to you. I feel like you have, you're super close to what you want. That's what I'm getting. You're super close to what you want or what you desire. High Priestess, Four of Wands. Some of you could be missing like an old home, um, an old relationship, some type of connection. And if it's not missing, a lot of you just feel maybe bored or stagnant in some type of connection right now. All right, let's look at your recent past. What's been going on with Leo, please? Recent past. You. All right, we have the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, fire energy, strong masculine, male or female, male or female watching. Um, it's just the masculine energy. The Three of Wands, more fire. And the Two of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. Lots of confidence coming from you with this King of Wands. Again, male or female watching. I feel like you're very loyal to um, yourself. You've been loyal to your health, your wealth, your physique, that type of thing. I feel like you're very, you're, I'm just getting a lot of like confidence from you, King of Wands. Three of Wands, Two of Pentacles though. You, you want to move forward with something, Three of Wands, but you can't because of Two of Pentacles because there's something holding you up. You've started something in the recent past, a new job, a new relationship, um, that type of thing, just being general. And then with the two of pentacles though, three, three of wands also talks about a delay. So there's something you've started, but it's not going all the way through right now because two of pentacles, um, there's something else going on in your energy. There's another responsibility, another person, another situation that's weighing very heavily on you. Page of wands, knight of swords, Seven of Wands. I'm getting almost like, for example, if you wanted to move, but you're like, well, like move cities or something like that. And you're like, well, I have my family here, so I don't know what to do. Or I kind of feel like you feel in between a rock and a hard place. You want to move forward with something, but with the Two of Pentacles, there's too much on your plate to take that next step is what I'm getting. What's currently going on with Leo? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. What's the current energy for Leo? The moon card. We just had the new moon in Virgo. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces or Cancer here. There's a lot of feelings going on right now. There's a lot of deep emotions in this situation. Queen of Wands. Spirit, what's the current energy, current situation for Leo? Oof. We have the Ten of Wands that came out, more fire, your fire. Uh, and we have the Magician, the Death Rebirth card, and the King of Swords. Remember we talked about you took one, two, three steps forward towards a path, towards a person, towards a goal, towards a job, towards a desire. But in the Three of Wands, it's like you're waiting for your ships to come in. Right under that card is the Ten of Wands. 
So a lot of you are maybe considering walking away, leaving a person, place, or situation. Because in this Ten of Wands, you notice there's no growth. There's nothing going on. So you're like, why am I here? You're putting down your burden right now of maybe waiting, waiting for the next step, uh, that type of thing. I feel like I'm hearing you're putting matters into your own hands. We have the magician. You're manifesting a new desire, a new situation right now. And with the death rebirth card, uh, Scorpio's card, you're undergoing a huge transformation right now. I definitely feel, again, a lot of deep emotions with the moon card. But I also feel this hidden energy like you might even surprise yourself, um, Ten of Wands, by packing up, leaving a person, place, or situation, okay? Future energy, what's coming in for you? What's coming in for Leo? Thank you for these messages. Okay. Ooh. There's the four of cups again. So future energy, we have the five of cups. This is releasing those emotions. This is releasing, having a, a good old cry, uh, that type of thing. Just uh, letting go of whatever this is emotionally, which is really big. Because once you clear out, okay, I left that person, left that situation, left that job, left that home, whatever that is, seven of cups. Now you can go shopping emotionally. You can look for a new home, look for a new friend group, look for uh, a new romance, whatever that is for you. And then boom, whatever you're looking for in the near future, seven of cups, four of wands, you commit to something here. Uh, again, fire energy for you. With the Four of Wands, we see two people here celebrating. Four of Wands is a celebration card. It could be marriage, um, a, a commitment. Four of Cups, Star card, Queen of Pentacles, Temperance, nice. Yeah, you're right there. Remember we talked about that with the Four of Cups? I was like, you're right there. You have the Star card behind you and the Queen of Pentacles. Star card talks about a wish fulfillment, but only because you've kept you've kept the faith alive in a situation, um, and that's why that's coming in for you. But it feels too folded. It feels like I have to end something to have something else. I'm getting almost like world card energy for a lot of you. A huge cycle might be closing in your life that you've been waiting to see where it goes. Am I happy in this home? Am I happy in this relationship? Am I happy in this whatever you know, whatever. There's a lot of emotions about it. Gotta go, can't do this anymore kind of vibe. And then you start manifesting what you really want, okay? Five of Cups, there will be some emotional like disappointment. But then whatever you're manifesting, Four of Wands, it looks very, very good. Again, a commitment to a new job, a new home, a new person, a new place, whatever that is for you. Beautiful. All right, let's get some details here. I've already pre-shuffled and cut the clarification deck just to save some time. That's right, we do have the world card at the bottom of the deck. Eight of wands, six of pentacles, six of wands. I feel like there's a victory around the corner that you don't even really expect. Someone's gonna be there for you if you need their help, their assistance, some finances, some support. Someone's right there to help you. A person, a group of people. But yeah, this is a huge, huge turning point in your life or in your situation right now with the world card. All right, let's go back to the beginning. What's up with this King of Wands for Leo? Even though you're going through a lot, you, you still are very confident about who you are, looking good, feeling good, um, that chin up, I'm okay kind of energy. What's with this King of Pentacles recent past? They say King of Pentacles, King of Wands. We have the Four of Swords out. Magician. You've thought about what you wanted. you thought about it long and hard. What's with this King of Wands recent past, please? Thank you, Spirit. Oh. Ace of Wands, Ten of Wands, again, okay? So I feel like there was something, 
Uh, and then we have the five of wands here too. Lots of fire in this reading. Very appropriate. Again, Leo, you are a fire sign. I mean, you're ruled by the sun. Hello. In the recent past, I do feel like there's been a hot new beginning, something very exciting for you. Uh, aces represent new beginnings, ace of wands, something exciting. Oh, new friend. I'm excited about them. New person or, you know, new something, new desire. But the 10 of wands, whatever that new beginning was, gave you a lot of reason to put down another situation, which is inevitably what you're about to do. Okay. Five of wands, five of pentacles. I feel like whatever was new and exciting could even be like a new hobby, new craft, new, I'm feeling a little glow up energy too. But anyways, whatever this new beginning was for a lot of you, again, it gave you a lot of reason to put something else down. You're realizing that one person plays their situation, uh, maybe is five of wands, drama, there's a lot of chaos, there's a lot of five of pentacles, abandonment energy, but then something new and exciting came in and you're like, uh, that one, please, that thing, that person, that job, that situation. What is your ace of wands? Eight of pentacles, knight of cups, page of pentacles. Someone gave you some type of offer, either as a friend or uh, probably romantic. Let's look at your three of wands. Why is that here for Leo? Three of cups, two of pentacles. Something was fun at first, fun at first. Three of wands, recent past for Leo. Ooh, five of pentacles. King of Swords, Five of Pentacles, King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, for some of you, Strong Masculine, Three of Pentacles, and You, the King. Something was fun at first. The job was fun at first. This person was fun at first. I'm getting like a little baby honeymoon phase for a lot of you and whatever that was for you. But Five of Pentacles, King of Swords, there's a strong, undeniable truth with, with inside of you, five of pentacles. I'm not going to get back what I deserve here. I'm not going to, I'm not eventually going to get back, you know, the love, the, the money I need, the whatever, um, the attention, whatever. And King of Swords is very much like a final decision. Once you've thought about it long and hard, which we talked about, you're like, you know what? I know what I have to do now. I know what I have to do now. Also what you have to do now, five of pentacles is remove yourself from the person, place or situation it's not fun anymore it's not um yeah seven of swords three of wands i feel like you hung in whatever this was for quite a while but at the end of the day you're just not feeling it right two of pentacles recent past this is the hold up the tie up What's that for Leo? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That way, that way. This way? Okay. Four cards came out. We have the Six of Cups on your Two of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Swords, more Air Energy, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Strong Masculine, Eight of Swords. King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. This is very specific, but I'm getting the type of situation where, say for example, you're dating someone, we want to get serious, King of Cups, we want to deepen the connection, we want to be more official, we want to, whatever. But Six of Cups, Knight of Swords, some of you might have, you know, children, you might be single parents, that type of thing. And I'm getting like, the kids not don't like the the person you're dating or your kids don't like them there's there's some type of issue six of cups with your children your family a past relationship an ex that's kind of on your mind or even a huge part of your energy or story but king of cups eight of swords um it's like you almost feel guilty for being in a relationship when you deserve to be happy that's what i'm getting you deserve to be King of Cups, happy, fulfilled, 
um, all the things in your cups, but a lot of you are giving a lot to a past person or situation and therefore you're kind of screwing yourself over because it's like giving a lot up to somebody else. Been going on. I feel like with the King of Pentacles is talking about timing. This has been going on for a hot minute here. What's with the Six of Cups for you? Seven of Pentacles, Hermit, Temperance. Yeah, I'm just overall getting like children or my family doesn't approve of this person or this relationship or whatever, so I don't know what to do. Two of Pentacles. You enter, you're entertaining both. You're, you're with both, you're in both energies, but it, it's also very confusing and overwhelming. And that's that in between a rock and a hard place. All right, let's look at your moon card, current energy, Pisces or Cancer for some of you. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of feels about this person. Two of Cups, again, more water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. The Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, which we'll see here in a minute. Death card, Scorpio's card. Lots of water, Wheel of Fortune. You, King of Wands. Someone really loves you and you love them. I'm seeing with the Eight of Pentacles though, you have your back towards this connection. And I feel I'm getting like a, almost like a Capricorn vibe. If you, if you really like someone, you're into someone, it's almost like you can't deal with the emotions of it right now. Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands. You're like, well, I, I'm, I'm gonna throw myself into work. A lot of you do have, this feels a little third party for a solid group of you. Like either two people, two different jobs, uh, that type of thing, because the Two of Cups and the Four of Wands are actually representing two different things that you're a part of, a commitment and a relationship. Both could also be relationships. But Eight of, or I'm sorry, Eight of Pentacles and the Death card, one of them's gotta go. What, something's gotta give is the energy I'm getting, which is why Moon card, you're really, really in your feels. For example, Eight of Pentacles, Four of Wands, if you've really been working on a marriage, a union, a relationship, that type of thing, for example, Two of Cups, you like someone else. There, You have deep feelings for somebody else. Even if not physical, I feel a strong emotional connection. Death card, Wheel of Fortune. This is, there's a lot of tie up energy. This is holding, um, this is messing with your karma, okay? Let's look at your 10 of wands, packing up and moving on from, again, a person, place or situation that there's, it's not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. There's no growth. Um, you climb that big mountain to, okay, the view is cool. I guess it's gotta come back down. What's with this 10 of wands for Leo, please? Ooh, we have the Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, and the uh, feminine energy. Six of Wands, Strength card, Your card. It's a very difficult decision, especially with Your card strength. Um, enduring something painful, enduring something uh, very difficult. But Six of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, it's for your best. It's for the best of your health, for the best for your finances, that type of thing. You'll feel really good and almost like a weight's been lifted off your shoulders once you walk away from whatever this is. Hangman, Two of Wands. I'm seeing now for a lot of you, once you do this, you're like, why didn't I do that sooner? I should have just done that sooner. And there's no right or wrong on timing. That's just the energy of, I'm scared to do this. I'm scared to walk away. I'm scared to leave this place. It feels very, something's very comfortable for you. Again, person, place, situation, a job, whatever. Something's very comfortable, but you're not feeling it anymore. And you're feeling it for something else or someone else. Let's look at your magician. So once you put down that, okay, I did it, I walked away, I left the whatever, now your energy is cleared and now you're manifesting, calling in what you want.
What's up with this magician for Leo, please? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. I'm not surprised the Eight of Cups is here. This is you emotionally disconnecting or distancing yourself. Nine of Wands from the person, place, or situation. Why is the magician here for Leo, please? Also not surprised judgment is here. Full card, like I said, the energy is cleared. Full card, thank you spirit for confirmation. Emperor, this is you doing the right thing. Justice, 10 of swords, this is you doing the right thing. The, the, the right thing isn't always the easiest thing, right? But this is about doing the right thing, okay? So on Magician, you've got the Eight of Cups, judgment, a final call, final decision, full card. You're free now. What are you walking away from? Wheel of Fortune, Four of Pentacles, the Hermit. A very lonely, isolated person, place, or situation. Like I'm seeing like sad cubicle energy. Like I can't do this anymore. Gotta go. Uh, a halt, like a, a location that you feel. I don't have any friends here. I don't. I don't. I'm not thriving here. A relationship for some of you where it's just been very karmic. Okay. Coming in, uh, future energy, five of cups, letting letting go emotionally, which is actually really healthy when you're in a transition, letting yourself cry, letting those emotions come up, talking about them, writing, that type of thing. Very, it's very good to release that from your energy, from your body, so you can move on. Five of cups for Leo, please. Why is this here? Absolutely, 10 of swords. Some of you might not be talking to someone, uh, like if you're leaving a home, for example, you're like, oh, I can't even look at it. It's so nice or so beautiful. I'm going to miss it. Two of Wands. It's like you're literally moving, moving on. But a part of it is Ten of Swords. I can't talk to them anymore. I have to put them on the back burner. I don't want to look at whatever it is. Swords are about communication and thoughts. But I'm getting also like social media energy. I don't want to see that. Why is the Five of Cups coming in for Leo, please? Page of Swords. Page of Swords, Ace of Cups. And a lot of you also, I'm getting like, if you're in a new relationship and leaving another one, specifically something like that, Ten of Swords, Page of Swords, Ace of Cups on your Five of Cups. You don't wanna hurt someone else's feelings either. If you're in a new situation, if you're talking to someone, but you just got out of another situation. And even again, what we talked about Six of Cups, maybe you're like, well, I am gonna go for this relationship. I don't care that my kids don't approve or that my family doesn't like them or whatever, that type of energy, I'm gonna do it anyways. Um, but you're being also very considerate and careful of the other person or situation's feelings. So maybe blocking them so they can't see your social media, your posts about Ace of Cups, a new love, a new person, a new cup. Let's get one more in your Five of Cups. Thank you. Seven of Wands, Five of Cups again. Yeah, a lot of people don't understand your decision. Nine of Cups, but you're, it makes you happy. Sun card, you, Temperance. All right, now you're, you're shopping here. Seven of Cups looking for the new whatever situation, the new person, the new house, the new job. This with the Seven of Cups coming in for Leo, please. Hi. Uh, Ace of Cups came back out. Six of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. Wow, nice. Let's get one more. High Priestess, Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, there is. What's your Ace of Cups? Five of Wands. Sun card again, Ace of Pentacles. This is a person that there's been some drama, some chaos, some competitiveness, but Sun card, Ace of Pentacles, that's what you want though. The, the, that job, that person, that friend, that situation. You're like, I want that. Six of Swords, this is gonna get you out of sticky waters. This is gonna get you out of um, 
conflict, feeling uncomfortable mentally. You're going to move forward high priestess. And I feel like you're just kind of, you know, keeping your cards close to the chest, whatever that saying is. You're not, oh, don't, sh you know, you're, you're not really a high priestess, hermit, temperance, page of pentacles. Yeah, you're really keeping something very private right now to yourself. Let's look at your four of wands coming in. Commitment, celebration, union. What is that for Leo, please? You're realizing that, oh my God, six of pentacles, nice. You're realizing that, okay, we have the knight of wands, the hangman on your four of wands, and the 10 of pentacles, the everything card. So you're realizing here that something, uh, knight of wands real quick, death card, king of wands, chariot. A lot of you are realizing that someone means more to you than you ever thought they did. Ten of Pentacles. Someone to you here, Four of Wands, is everything to you. You can't not be with them. They can't not be with you. That type of thing. What's with the hangman? Four of Pentacles, Hermit, Justice. Again, about doing the right thing. So again, a lot of you really are stepping into this Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, doing the right thing for yourself and for probably someone you're dealing with here. Excuse me. Some of you could have realized Knight of Wands, looking back over here, that someone that made you an option in the past, you're making them an option now. And you're going to go for the real deal. What's the real deal to you? That's what I keep hearing. Two of Wands, the, the new thing, Ten of Cups. The new, the new job, the new person, the new location, the new whatever. I'm hearing don't turn back, don't look back. I'm not telling you what to do. It's just what I'm hearing. Woo, it's pretty intense. This is a lot going on, Leo. It's like very two-folded. Like as, you, again, you end something very difficult, you know, hard to walk away from something that's very comfortable. I get that. But, I, but if something is stagnant in your life and not going anywhere and you've put in all of your effort, love, you know, energy into that, and it, it's not serving you, it's not serving your life, your love, your, your, your health, any of that, your boundaries, then you already know the answer. Then you already know the answer. I feel like a lot of you have some friends, uh, family, or some type of community, community around you that supports you in a lot of ways, but some of this feels also very secretive. There's definitely something new coming in for a lot of you that I feel like you already know what it is or who it is. You're just having to make a decision uh, on which one is best for you. I'm never here to tell you what to do, but as one thing ends, something something else always begins. As one door closes, another one opens, okay? Best of luck, Leo. We're going to do your pick a card. And those of you that want to join us for the love reading, that's the first link in the description box below. And the Leo that won the pick a card this time is Brandon Russell. Brandon, you are my winner. All right. So Leo, if you want me to pick your card next time, make sure you are subscribed to this channel. Leave your name in the comment section down below. Next time it could be you. I love y'all so much. Thank you always for everything. I'll see y'all in the love reading or next time. Brandon, how are you, my love? Thank you so much for being a subscriber. I super appreciate you. <clears throat> Spirit, what are the best and highest messages for Brandon? Leo energy. All right, nice. Brandon, you have the Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck as your theme. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. This is my romantic night. So maybe you're thinking about going next level with someone in a relationship or connection, or maybe them... They're thinking about that for you. Seven of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. There's been some resistance about this. Like, I don't know if I should. I don't, this person, if you're dealing with someone else, they don't know if they should. All right. What does Brandon need to know right now? Thank you, Spirit, for these messages. 
Knight of Cups out again. Ace of Swords. Ooh, first one out is Death card, Scorpio's card. Knight of Cups. Uh, Ace of Swords, new beginning here. Six of Cups. Let's get two more for Brandon. Temperance, nice. Interesting. Temperance could be dealing with a Sagittarian, Three of Wands, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. Whoa. Page of Swords, Ace of Cups. It's like a little Swords family over here. Oh my God. Something ended in your life or is ending right now. And because of this ending, it, it's opening up a door of something else that you've always wanted to explore, a creative outlet, a person maybe. And you're realizing, Ace of Swords, that you, if you, I want to say this right, you wouldn't, have, you wouldn't have this Knight of Cups. You wouldn't have this offer, this next step in a creative outlet for you if something didn't end in your life. Temperance, three of wands. There's a lot of divine timing at play here. I am getting very, like a lot of timing, like everything's very happening for your best and highest good. There's been a lot of delays on this three of wands. I'm just going to say this is like the type of example I'm getting. So uh, I, this never, ever, ever, ever means a real actual death. But I, I do feel like there could have been someone in the past that either has passed away, sending my condolences if that's what's happening um, or like something I'm never going to see them again uh, or that type of thing. Something very serious here happened. Like I can I can feel it. But for example, say someone did pass away recently or at any time in the past. It's never something that we predict or anything like that. That's not, no. But something that's going on and ending, it, it had to happen so that you could get Knight of Cups into your feels. Like I'm getting maybe you're an artist, like a, like a, a writer, singer-songwriter or whatever. There's something here with your voice because the Queen of Swords is here where you're like starting to speak up. You're starting to speak differently. So it's like maybe you wouldn't have written some songs or written some lyrics and worked on your voice and maybe you're like a musician, for example. It's very intense. You wouldn't be where you are now if that not good thing didn't happen. That's your message. Let's clarify. What's this death card for Brandon, please? Eight of Swords, Page of Wands. You can't believe it. You can't believe it. I really hope it's not a child or anything like that. Um, so, Eight of Swords, Three of Swords, Page of Swords. You, you lost someone. I feel like you really lost someone um, to spirit. Again, sending my condolences. I know it's difficult. And if, again, if it's not that, it's like there's something that feels like it was ripped from underneath you, like the rug was pulled out from underneath you. And you're just asking yourself, Eight of Swords is like, why? Why did that happen? Why did I lose that? Why did that just disappear is what I'm getting. Very difficult energy, difficult, like quick ending for you. All right, let's look at your Knight of Cups. We have the devil. Oh my goodness. In the full card, you're actually again, tower nine of wands. You're actually again, I feel like this is a talent that you have. Why the devil, please? Two of pentacles strength, uh, strength card, Leo. I honestly feel like you know what this is. You're really good at something. 
again, singing or you're an artist or a creator of some type. And with the devil, you're not just like kind of good. You're really good. You're like the best of the best. I'm also with the, with the devil card too. They're saying, for example, like if you are an artist, it's, it's using that fear, that rage. I'm upset. I'm in my shadow energy, but you're doing something healthy with it. Creating art or, you know what I mean? Putting yourself out there very vulnerably, very vulnerably. Why can't I say that word? What's this Ace of Swords for Brandon? Give me two. I'm going to take all this that came out on your ace of swords, 10 of swords. You feel betrayed. You feel hurt again. I can't believe this happened, but then we have the high priestess on your ace of swords, the king of pentacles potential for you to go all the way. in whatever this is for you, make a lot of money, have a lot of abundance, a lot of support. Something's going to go or has the potential to go all the way seven of cups. And now you have way more options in this situation than you ever thought that you would. Like you might be making like a lot of money, for example, in the near future with whatever this is more than you ever thought you would in this lifetime, or you have so much support and abundance than you ever thought you would. But the high priestess here, I feel like, again, you know that you have a strong talent, a strong something like under your sleeve or up your sleeve, whatever that is. What's with temperance? It's going to heal other people, your story, the song, the music, the art, the expression, however you're expressing yourself with this temperance is like, you're going to heal other people. Like how music is very healing, right? Why is temperance here for Brandon moon card, six of pentacles. This is you like slowly stepping into the light coming out of the dark into the light type of energy here. People are going to feel what you went through. People are going to feel that experience as you express it. Five of swords, magician, lovers. All right, let's look at your three of wands. This is like, I kind of started it and hadn't gone anywhere, but now I feel like it's ready to go now. Three of wands. Yeah. Page of swords, four of wands. Absolutely. King of wands, you. I want to look at your uh, queen of swords really quick. You're about to nail it. You're about to have like a contract. Um, you're about to like have whatever this is. Uh, queen of swords, please. We have five of swords. And then we have the chariot on top of that, two of cups. This is something that is meant to happen for you. You didn't see this coming. Also moon card on your temperance. You didn't see this coming for a second that you would be in this place at this time which is actually a really good place for you. Three of wands to the four of wands is taking that next step. Like, Hey, I'm doing this. I am coming out with this talent. I am doing this commitment. Maybe it's also about a person as well. If, if one situation didn't end, maybe you wouldn't have been able to, to be with somebody else. Two of cups, three of pentacles. You actually might have um, like a partner. Like again, I keep going back to, you know, being a singer and artist, like now you might have a tango partner, a dance partner, a, a singing partner. I don't know, two of cups, three of pentacles, something that you and someone work on together. But I also feel like you're, you're talking about creating art, doing whatever this is, expressing yourself about two of cups, about someone that you really love and care about. All right. That's what I have for you. If there's anyone else still here, I love y'all. I'll see you in the love reading or next time. Bye.